If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Interestingly enough, when we are talking to our probate clients, we're we're reaching out to them in such a way that we're not not targeting them or saying to them anything specific about being probate. We're literally reaching out from the space of, hey, we're interested in purchasing this property. Obviously, as part of that conversation, you're going to find that the family member is deceased. You, of course, are going to share your condolences. And then the rest of the material is the same. You're still going to go through and collect the information you need to about the property. You're going to talk to them about their situation and what their plans are and move forward with the rest of it. Um, as far as scripting, I, I will say that we do a lot of good... Um, Hmm, I was just trying to think of my word because I don't really like scripting. I'll just be straight up. I feel like people get too much in the habit of trying to read that. We give a lot of good languaging that helps with converting and to getting good answers and to help move the conversation forward. But we don't, we're not people that teach flat out scripting, i.e. read this thing. And because if you become the robot who's read it, then you're not going to be a part of the conversation. And we're about leading with the servant's heart. So you have to be able to read read what's going on with that person, hear what they're saying, connect with them and be able to respond. What I find with people that use too much scripting is they forget that and they're just responding with the next question, the next thing that they're supposed to say. So we do teach in our courses a lot of good languaging as to how to get information from these people, but not a direct script. And of course, when you're talking to probate, there's not going to be anything different aside from, of course, naturally you're speaking to where that person's situation is. And a quick comment to go along with uh, everything Crystal just said. She says something very important I don't want you to miss. We never bring up the deceased. Uh, um, of course, probate, the deceased died sometime in the past for them to be in probate. But we talk to people that are even in pre-probate. We never bring up that because that brings up a negative emotional response. But if they bring it up, then, of course, we have genuine um, concern and condolences and et cetera. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's J-C-O-N-N-E-R.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.